Hey YouTube, it's me, Laquita again. Uh, Laquita says so. It's gonna be hard to kind of remember my name on here because you know it doesn't bother me. You guys call me either or. I don't care. But um, I just wanted to make a video. This is the third time me making this video. No shade to y'all, but my camera was acting a fool. I really thought I was like making a video. Turns out it wasn't recording, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that I transitioned, um, into being natural. I didn't, you know, do the BC, big, big shop or anything of that nature. So, um, I just wanted to let, I just wanted to explain how my journey went. Cause I don't have like a lot of pictures to show you or what have you. I can only go, go by like details and stuff like that. But like I said, I transitioned, um, for two years and I got my relaxed ends finally cut off, um, in January. Um, my transitioning, um, period was it was relatively easy only because I had like micro kinky twists. I wore bantu knots. I wore braid outs, twist outs. Um, and I was able to be, I was able to actually go to a natural hair salon and get my hair done, even though I had relaxed ends. Um, and usually that's not the, that the where I go is not the case. They will only, it depends on your consultation though, but. Um, I know that they not, they don't touch people um, that have uh, relaxed ends or anything. So I pretty much got away with it. Um, but yeah, like I said, the hair salon I went to actually only special than natural hair. So, um, I mean, like, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I've used products, but mo for the most part, it was trial and error. If I liked the product, I would stick with it. But then again, it was also like I wanted to try you know pretty much everything and you get so overwhelmed with products like you see this that the, the third and you got people telling you try this you got people telling you try that but see that what i will recommend you all if you are transitioning or even if you're natural um or thinking about going natural i would recommend you to if you're going to try a shampoo try to condition it in that same line if you're going to use um grease or anything be light on the grease if that's what you seem to think that you know makes your hair you know grow and stuff like that i will say for me that was never the case if anything anything with petroleum in it clogged my pores like it actually stunted my hair growth you see what i'm saying so i used a lot of oils and after following so many people on youtube you can't you kind of get the concept of you know people's hair journeys and you kind of run into the same thing they said that they experienced because at the end of the day, if you're transitioning, you're going to encounter some of the things that another transition encountered. Um, I know for me, I had what you call scab hair, where, um, you know, fresh after the breakage that you had from your relaxer, um, and then the growth that's trying to get up there and it's trying to grow out with no relaxer attached to it at the ends, um, I know with me, I had like scab hair where it won't even, it would not react to heat, like at all. And, like, even if I spent 10 minutes trying to flat iron that same piece, when I left it, when I took it off of the flat iron or off to the curlers, it was still, like, cold. Like, it just did not react to heat. So, um, I actually looked that up on uh, YouTube, and I saw somebody that had the same, that had the same exact um, experience, and they called it scab hair. And so, um, that's what I called it because it was so similar. It was like she was reading my life. Um... Uh, products that I use were recommended by other YouTubers, but at the same time, like, everybody's hair is different. So always get that notion, like, you know, just because it worked for that person, it might not work for yours. That's how come I said my um, transition period was a trial and error. Um, I spent a lot of time washing my hair, um, too, because my hair, like, like as you go naturally, you, your hair loves the moisture. Um, I will say, I don't, I think my curl pattern, I'm not going to say it is, but for what I was told by my, um, my natural hair specialist, she said that my hair was like a 4B, 4C, but my hair is tightly coiled in some areas and some other areas it's like a little bit more loose. Um, what else? My, um, I've had, uh, you know, like I've, I actually started going to, a natural hair salon like a year into me going natural like I said I still had relaxed ends and but when I had my protective style and I had like in order for me to keep my twist in and stuff I had to use perm rods which are the like the really really small rods but they're red and they're like they're like mad skinny I'm trying to find something to compare it to but it was like 
skinnier than this straw right here on this cup. Like, I'm so serious. It was it was actually um helpful though because I still got that same, you know, natural look to it. So the skinnier the rods are to curl your hair, the more natural it will look. Um what else? I'm trying to think of something else I could say. Um, definitely start using like satin scarves. If you are planning to wrap your hair at night, always use like a bonnet. If you're going to sleep without stuff on your head, have a satin pillowcase. Um, get familiar with oils. Um, I know that jojoba oil worked really, really well on my hair, but, um, it was like so expensive. Um, and now I use hot six oil. If you saw my last video I put up before this one. So, um, but like I said, it, you, you find things that you like. But try to experience just about everything, but don't do so much at once. Um, because I know some it some products won't work if you're using another line of products. Um, I know Eco Styler became, Eco Styling Gel uh, actually became like my best friend. Like, I love gel. Um, with my hairstyles, I still put my little baby uh, baby hairs in. Um, using a toothbrush, yes ma'am, it's Pam. But, um, it's, you know, you, you find things. I mean, I can't, I don't know. It's a lot into it because it's been so long and a lot of stuff I forgot. And now it's just in my nature to do certain things that I just don't notice. So, um, you, you, I, oh, shea butter. Yes. That's one thing that, that you will really like, um, using your hair. Um, I know one person got mistaken and thought I said that use that as grease or oils on your hair and stuff like that. No, you, if you want to use stuff like that on your hair, I know for me, like when I blow dry my hair, it works well, um, you know, putting some and rubbing your hands together and then, you know, blow drying your hair, it actually makes my hair soft. But don't put large amounts of shea butter in your hair because when all said and done and God hope, you better hope it's not winter time outside and then you go outside now your hair is turning to white thickness of mess because you thought that I said use shea butter as an oil. You can, but you just can't use a lot. Like, don't use a lot of shea butter. I know me, I made, like, different concoctions of shea butter, oil, olive oil, mixed it. And that lasts me for, like, a long time. Like, it lasts me a long time. And all I would use it is when, like, for instance, like now, I would, like, take some, put it on my palm, rub it together, and just, you know, run it through my hair. And that just gives this the softness. Um, moisturizer is going to be your best friend. Try to get familiar with those. Spray bottles and water bottles. Not water bottles. Mm, spray bottles. With water, make sure you just change your water every day. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. It's a lot. And so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, you know, ask me. Hit me up. I'm always around, so. Well, always, not around, but I'm always, like, on online and stuff. So I get, I will pretty much get through. The turnover time for, for me to get back to you is going to be really quick. Um, so, like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up. And if I think of any more, you know, tips or something, I'll, you know, post them on YouTube. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I really like making videos. So, this is my second one today. But it's cool. Alright, thank you. See ya.